As previously stated, both shutter speed and aperture affect the exposure of a video image. This section will examine the effect of aperture as well as additional lighting on exposure. The aperture, or iris, is the opening in the lens that restricts how much light reaches the image sensor. Two different apertures are shown here. More light reaches the image sensor with a large aperture, as seen on the left, than with a small aperture, as seen on the right. In this sequence, as the aperture is manually increased, so the image becomes gradually overexposed. Such an image would be difficult to digitize. Progressively decreasing the aperture gradually darkens the image, resulting in it becoming underexposed. At the smallest aperture setting, the image is too dark for the performer to be seen. It should be noted that on most video cameras, the aperture is automatically adjusted to produce the optimal exposure based on the shutter speed setting and the ambient lighting. Depending on the ambient lighting, once an appropriate shutter speed has been selected and the aperture adjusted, the image may still be underexposed. In these circumstances, additional lighting is required to achieve a well-exposed image. This is often the case when filming indoors. When using additional lighting, the light should be positioned to ensure that the appropriate part of the field of view is illuminated. It is also important that lights are positioned to avoid shadowing on the performer. Care should also be taken to avoid overexposing parts of the image by having too much light focused on a specific region. The use of well-positioned floodlights is often the best way to achieve an appropriately lit image. This sequence shows a kick that has been filmed with a shutter speed of 1 600th of a second and with additional flood lighting. Comparing a still image from two sequences, both shot with a shutter speed of 1 600th of a second, the benefit of additional lighting can be seen. The image on the left, which was shot with no additional lighting, is underexposed, whereas the image on the right, shot with flood lighting, is well exposed. In summary, the aperture is the hole in the lens that controls the amount of light that reaches the image sensor. A large aperture allows more light to reach the image sensor than a small aperture. The aperture can be manually adjusted on most cameras. However, it is often automatically adjusted by the camera based on ambient lighting and shutter speed setting to produce the optimal exposure. When using fast shutter speeds, additional lighting can be used to ensure adequately exposed images.